We're now going to take a quick look at templates available in Microsoft Word. So basically what I've done here is opened up a Word document in a traditional manner. If I want to see what templates are available, what I'm going to do is go over here to File and I'm going to go down to New. Now when you open up Word as well for the first time, it does have a few available, but this is the way to access your templates once within the Microsoft Word program. Now, as I go down this list, I can see we've got memos, blog posts, okay, we have report formats, okay, and if I want to take a closer look at these templates, all I need to do is just click on them, okay, and then I can download them from Microsoft Office Online. So, let's see what's available. So, we've got different formats for reports, business plans, a brochure layout, okay, now, if what I want is in here, I can actually go through different categories of templates as well. So, let's have a look at personal. Okay, once again, it's connecting to the store to see what is available. Okay, so a brochure, business card, okay, a whole variety of different templates. So maybe I was going to print off some certificates, so I'm going to click on this certificate template, and I'm going to go create. Okay, it takes a bit of time to download it, but now it's formatted my page with this template. So by looking at this template layout, I can see it has actual space for me to enter in my data. Okay, whether I want to enter in a message and specific areas usually bracketed to show where the actual user needs to enter in information. I can edit these templates and change colors. So let's say I wanted to change all this text and make it red. Okay, and then I could save it as my own template. So if I went file and save as, okay, and we'll put it in my word template folder and I'll change it to an actual template. So a DOTX for a word template. One thing to be aware of when doing this is once you select that actual template format, the .tx, it sends it to a custom Office templates folder. Okay, and you do not always want your templates going there. But that's basically how I could then save my own customized template, which I built from an existing template. So I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to save it there. Okay, but I hope this helps you understand how many templates are available for you. You don't always have to start with a blank slate. Using templates makes life a lot quicker because the structure is already there and you can then edit it and save them as your own personalized templates.